five, we are actually more than 700 days away from the 2024 presidential election. But the political ads are already popping up. This includes those touting candidates who haven't even been announced as a run for the White House tonight. As Capitol reporter Forrest Saunders tells us, this includes Governor Ron DeSantis. When asked by journalists, Governor Ron DeSantis keeps deflecting on the question of whether or not he is seeking to trade his office in the Capitol for the Oval Office in 2024. Even so, that's not stopping some who have started political ad campaigns promoting him as the next president of the United States. Next time you scroll social media, don't be surprised if it looks like the next presidential election is near. I am tonight announcing my candidacy for president of the United States. There are pack ads for former President Donald Trump, who's running again, and online attack ads by the current president, Joe Biden. You also had people that were very fine people. Plus, third parties like the Lincoln Project are up to it again. It's America or Trump. But coming online Wednesday night, this ad for a candidate not even technically in the race. We need Ron DeSantis. Newly formed super PAC, Ron to the rescue behind it. GOP strategist John Thomas, the group's creator. He's hoping to, he says, build a foundation for Florida's governor to become America's president. We need to put in place the infrastructure so that we have a turnkey operation that we can hand over to the governor. Uh, if and when he decides to run for president. Thomas says his motivation was DeSantis' large victory on election night. While the nation saw a red puddle, the governor oversaw a red tsunami in Florida. Freedom is here to stay. Since launching the pack over the weekend, Thomas says Ron to the rescue has nabbed more than a million in commitments and plans to start running TV ads like the online post. While our nation struggled, Florida thrived. In the key caucus state of Iowa in about a week. What we're saying is we would like the former president to shift from a party leader to a party elder and make room for Governor DeSantis, who has shown the way that he can save the Republican Party in 2024. At the moment, DeSantis keeps swatting down questions about the presidency. People just need to chill out a little bit on some of this stuff. I mean, seriously. And saying he's focused on Florida. Is there a chance he won't run? Sure. But for Thomas, the danger of backing a candidate who isn't running is worth the risk. Political experts have told us time and time again that Trump's early announcement was an attempt to plant the flag and keep his primary opponents few. Even so, we keep hearing big GOP names are mulling a run, not just DeSantis, but the former Vice President Mike Pence, as well as other governors and officials. That's the latest out here at the Florida Capitol. I'm Forrest Saunders reporting.